Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on optimal storage on tapes in greedy method. Optimal storage on tapes is one of the application of greedy method. In optimal storage on tapes, consider n number of programs. Each and every programs have different lengths that is L sub x i. Now we have to assign these n number of programs on a single tape or a multiple tapes. How to assign these n number of programs on a single tape or a multiple tape? Okay, our main objective is to assign these n number of programs to multiple number of tapes in an optimal way so that the total retrieval time is decreases. So this is the problem statement of optimal storage on tapes. So this can be solved by using greedy method. Greedy method is one of the algorithm design method. This method is used for solving optimization problems. Optimization problem may require either maximum result or a minimum result. It depends on the given problem. So now we have to go for example problem. In that example problem, there are 13 programs are there that is n is equal to 13. So these 13 programs have different lengths. These are the different lengths of 13 programs. These 13 programs can be assigned to three tapes that is T0, T1 and T2. Now we have to find out the total retrieval time for T0 tape total retrieval time for T1 tape, total retrieval time for T2 tape. After finding out the total retrieval time for each and every individual tape, then finally we have to find out the total retrieval time for three tapes. So this is our problem. Okay, now how to solve this problem? So total number of total number of programs total number of programs that is n is equal to 13 number of tapes number of tapes is equal to 3 that is t0 t1 and T2 A. Next. The first step is arranging the program lengths in increasing order. Arranging the arranging the program lengths arranging the program lengths in increasing order. In increasing order of length increasing order of length so the after arranging the program lengths in increasing order of length the first program is 3 the second program is 4 the third program is 5 5 5 5 Next, fifth program is 6, seventh program is 7, eighth program is 8, ninth program is 10, tenth program is 11, twelfth, eleventh program is 12, twelfth program is 18, Next program length is 26. Next program length is 32. Okay. After arranging the program lengths in, in 
increasing order of length so this is the increasing order okay next now we have to assign these 13 programs to t0 tape t1 tape and t2 tape okay next first program can be assigned to t0 tape next second program can be assigned to t1 tape third program can be assigned to third tape t2 after completing once once each and once the program can be assigned to t0 t1 t2 again whatever the program comes this program can be assigned to t0 tape that is 5 next one is 6 next one is 7 next one is 8 next one is 10 next one is assigned to t2 tape next one is assigned to t0 tape next one is assigned to t1 tape next one is assigned to t2 tape next one is assigned to t0 tape so here 13 programs are completed these 13 programs can be assigned to t0 t1 and t2 so after assigning these 13 programs for three days now we have to find out the total retrieval time for each and every day individually. So total retrieval time, total retrieval time for T naught tape is equal to first we have to access the first program next we have to access the second program first we have to access the first program next we have to access the second program next next we have to access the third program first we have to access the first program next we have to access the second program next we have to access the third program next Next, we have to access the fourth program. First, we have to access the first program. Next, we have to access the second program. Next, we have to access the third program. Next, we have to access the fourth program. Plus, next, we have to access the fifth program. First, we have to access the first program. Next, we have to access the second program. Next, we have to access the third program. Next, we have to access the fourth program. Next, we have to access the fifth program. Okay. This is the total retrieval time for T0 to K. Next, total retrieval time. For T1 tape. First, we have to access the first program length that is 4. Plus, to access the second program 6, first we have to access the first program. Next, we have to access the second program. Next, to access the third program, first we have to access the first program. Next, we have to access the second program. Next, we have to access the third program. Next, to access the fourth program in T1 tape, first, we have to access the first program. Next, we have to access the second program. Next, we have to access the third program. Next, we have to access the fourth program. So, this is the total retrieval time for T1 tape. Next, total retrieval time total retrieval time for T2 tape is equal to to access the first program in T2 tape what is the time that is 5 next to access the second program in T2 tape 
first we have to access the first program then we have to access the second program to access the third program in t2 tape first we have to access the first program next we have to access the second program next we have to access the third program next to access the fourth program in t2 tape first we have to access the first program next we have to access the second program next we have to access the third program next we have to access the fourth program okay this is the total retrieval time for t0 tape this is the total retrieval time for t1 tape then this is the total retrieval time for t2 tape now we have to find out the final total retrieval time for three tapes t0 t1 and t2 finally final total retrieval time final total retrieval time for three tapes three tapes that is t0 t1 and t2 is equal to total retrieval time total retrieval time for t0 tape plus total retrieval time for t1 tape plus total retrieval time for t2 tape so that is equal to total retrieval time for t0 tape is 115 plus total retrieval time for t1 tape is 72 plus total retrieval time for t2 tape is 89 okay so then total retrieval time for three tapes is 9 plus 2 11 11 plus 5 16 9 7 16 16 plus 11 that is 276 so this is the final total retrieval time so therefore total retrieval time total retrieval time for 13 programs using three tapes t0 t1 and t2 is equal to 276 okay so this is the final answer how to assign 13 programs for three tapes in an optimal way so the total retrieval time is 276 okay so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel so dibela srinivasara in the previous video the same problem can be solved using two tapes this problem can be solved using three tapes okay you have to observe the difference between the uh, two tapes and three tapes so thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel and dibela srinivasara thank you